Bitch, when I tell you I recorded a whole video and that shit just slowed down, I'm hot. I'm mad. I done already recorded everything. I done made the drink, everything that set my points, and the bitch slowed down my video. So it went from a 10-minute video to a 32-minute video. That's that shit I be talking about, man. But whatever. We're going to do take two. What's up, everybody? I am Alphonse Christopher Noel Williams, a.k.a. Noel the Lyricist. And this is the Noel Story! Welcome back. Yes. Now, before I was rudely interrupted by this fucking camera slowing down my audio and video, turning my 10-minute video into a 33-minute video, couldn't use none of that footage. Just disrespect. I decided to come back, and I'm trying it one more time to tell you just three out of the many things that I've learned in this new year. And these three were the most recent because I, these are the ones that I remember most recently. So here we go, let's do it. Number one, can we focus on ourselves this year? You know, let's focus on ourselves this year. Now I understand, you got shit to do. You got things to take care of, you got business to tend, okay? But ain't none of that shit gonna get done if you can't get up in the morning to do them. You can't do none of that shit if you got the flu, sir. You can't get this money if COVID is slowing you down, brother. You gotta make sure that you're right. Eat healthy. Make sure you're clean. Wash your ass. Get everything in your house that you need in your house. Keep your house clean. So when it's time for you to elevate, you can elevate with the environment with you and all that other stuff. Keep yourself together. Take your vitamins. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Drink water. You got to stay healthy in this season so that way you can keep doing what you want to do. Everything stops if you stop. Amen? Let's go on. Number two, believe what people show you, not what they tell you. I'm going to say that one more again. Believe what people show you, not tell you. People can tell you any and everything all the time, but there's a situ, there's this thing, there's this thing that they, uh, that um, it's kind of new. Maybe you heard about it. Uh, uh, what is it called? What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. A lie. People do that. Some people just lie to you just for the fuck of it. Some people lie to you because they feel like it's okay. And then some people lie to you because that's all they got for you. That's all they want to do. But then you have those that will literally lie to you to make you hear what you want to hear so they can emotionally, mentally, and physically, sometimes even spiritually, manipulate you into getting whatever it is that they want. It's a very selfish game. So you have to believe what people do, not what people say. People can tell you anything. It is within the actions that you see their true intentions. If a bitch say they support you in everything that you do and they don't repost your shit. I don't think that's true. If a motherfucker say that they gonna show up to this event, to this gathering, to this, this, this festivity, whatever it is that you wanna call it at the time, and then every time you invite them, they're consistently not showing up, nor do they cancel. They just no call, no show. It's in the actions. It's in the action. If a motherfucker say that they in a relationship with you, saying they love you, saying they care, say they were you the one, they wanna be around you all the time, yet you don't know his password to his phone. He still signed in to these dating apps. Listen to me now. He don't post you on his social media. He don't have to. Now, now, that doesn't solidify your relationship. No, it does not. But when he's posting everything and everyone else but you, it's hard to get him to go anywhere with you in public. And the only time he really texts you is between the hours of 12 and 6. Sweetheart, he don't love you. Never has. I don't think he can. I don't think men like that can. I don't think people like that can. So don't get it twisted, don't get it confused. Use the sense that God gave a goose because it's quite common. Never believe what these niggas say, but always believe what they do. And that's on period. 
The third and final thing that I want to come to you and say is this. Everybody that come with you can't go with you. So if it interrupts your peace, it needs to be released. Don't nobody own you. And you don't own nobody. So just like that, everybody has the freedom to make the decisions, whatever it is that they want to make. And if you have somebody in your life that you have come to several times, multiple times, chance after chance after chance after chance after motherfucking goddamn chance. And for some reason, whatever the reason might be, they just don't get it. That's okay. That's okay. Because that's still a human. You know, humans, fecal people, they're very fickle. They're very fickle, idle-minded people, majority of them. Majority of them are very fickle and idle-minded individuals. Leaves on a tree, if you will. They're very seasonal. They're very seasonal motherfuckers. They only care about what you can give to them. And every once in a while, they're just there to provide shade. But they're just like the wind. They'll just go here, they'll go there, hither and thither. They don't know what they want. They're idle-minded, and you can't really reach people like that. Usually, people that are like that are only in the game for self. And if you try to involve or promote somebody in your business, because your life is your business, it's a whole business, and the people that are in your life are co-workers, follow me, follow me. If you induct this nigga in your business, and you know damn well that that's not it, you know he's not doing, you know he's not gonna do what he need to do to uphold the mantle in the business, but you let him in there anyway. And then he starts showing you this shit. It's time to go. Whenever somebody puts you in a position where your emotions, your mental stability, and your spirituality is constantly, constantly, constantly compromised, they don't care. Move on. And the best part about it is, sweetheart, you ain't got to explain shit to nobody. That's your business. And plus, why are you explaining it to them? They know what they did. A motherfucker knows what they did to you. They know what they did. Especially if you're coming to them explaining the situation. I didn't like this. I don't appreciate this happening. If this continues, we're going to have an issue. Can you please alter it so that way we can remain friends? We can remain colleagues. We can remain in this relationship. We can remain partners. And then they consistently do it still after you've addressed it, they don't care. They don't care. Leave their ass in 2022. You don't need those type of people in your life. Those type of actions are not conducive to you getting paper. They are not conducive to the betterment of your business. And they are not conducive to uplift, edify, and encourage you. So leave that motherfucker where they at in the depths behind. That's it. That's all I got. I'm not going to come here and I'm not going to be before you long because I didn't want to uh, talk you ill. That's just three things that I've learned in this new season of the new years that I felt like you all needed to hear too because I learned that and maybe shit. Maybe I wanted to share it because it's my platform. Y'all may get something from it too. But thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for talking. I don't think you was talking because it's a camera. But thank you so much for, for, for viewing me. I'm about to finish this alcoholic beverage. Because it's delicious and I made it. It's the new year and I'm off. So I'm about to get a little F. Tough. You know. Because I didn't go out New Year's. I was responsible. I had to work on New Year's Day. And I worked my ass off. So now it's time. I'm off today. So now it's just what it is. Thank you all so much for coming. Like, comment, subscribe. If you like what you're seeing. If you like what you do. Listen, music is coming very, very soon. Just hang in there. I'm coming. Don't worry about it. I am Alf Hans Christopher Noel Williams, a.k.a. Noel the Lyricist, and this has been the Noel Story. Thank you all so much for listening. I love us for real. Take care.